Good morning, you're watching Sky News Weather. It is a hot and humid morning across southeastern Australia, and we've got showers and storms on the way for many parts this afternoon. That's ahead of a major rain and flood event for southeastern Australia over the weekend. I'm going to have more details on what we are expecting through the weekend for southeastern Australia coming up shortly in the rain report and the analysis report. But for now, we're just going to talk about today's weather. We've got a trough of low pressure moving through South Australia. That's the trigger for showers and storms today. Ahead of that trough, there's a hot northerly airstream, and it's humid too across southeast Australia with maximum temps more than 10 above average. And we have onshore winds on the Queensland coast. That's due to this blocking high near New Zealand. You can't quite make out the H, but trust me, it's there. Winds go anti-clockwise around high, so a very humid easterly pushing onto the Queensland coast. We've had some heavy falls in the past 24 hours. Mount Cooper, western Brisbane, over 100 millimetres. Thick cloud cover from showers and storms through Queensland, visible on the satellite. Bit of cloud from New South Wales with storms for the Northern Ranges yesterday afternoon. And storm clouds right now through the western part of South Australia. Bit of cloud through southwest WA in a cool southerly. Uh, we are going to see there's some rain in the southeast pocket of the state today. All right, Queensland radar. Scattered showers, central coast. One of the rain gauges in the central highlands had over 50 millimetres from storms. The rain eased in Brisbane yesterday afternoon and overnight. We've just seen scattered showers, northern rivers district and also southeast Queensland. But around lunchtime yesterday, we saw up to about 50 millimetres falling per hour in southeast Queensland, which is why we have seen totals for the northern suburbs of Brisbane between about 50 and 100 millimetres over the past 24 hours. Right now, Brisbane's not seeing rain, but there is some, some showers up around the Sunshine Coast in the adjacent inland area. Total since 9am yesterday, Cairns and Innisfail missed out on the rain for once. It was heavier further south. Townsville had 12. Some really good falls here in central Queensland. Cross upon 25. St Lawrence, 34mm of rain. Gladstone had 11. Uh, Bundaberg and Rocky only light falls. Now, Brisbane's had 28 in the CBD. Sunshine Coast, 29. Kempsey, 27. And Tamworth, Narrabri, some good falls. Inverell actually picked up over 30 millimetres from, might have been over 40 millimetres actually from storms yesterday. Sydney 1.8, some of the northern suburbs though up to 10 millimetres of rain. Now South Australia, you had some shower and storms yesterday, isolated falls that dissipated overnight, a severe thunderstorm warning has been cancelled overnight, although we do have storms right now in the far west of the state. Now this is our trough of low pressure, you can see here just off the coast of Sejuna, there's some activity on the radar, oh there's the lightning as well. Now that will be moving further east through today, with showers tending to rain, for Air Peninsula, the west coast of northwest pastoral. And then this afternoon, showers and storms again through the central and eastern part of South Australia and through western Victoria. Widespread falls developing with the risk of severe storms, especially right near the Victorian and the South Australian border. Damaging winds, hail, flash flooding, they're all possible from storms this afternoon. Central Victoria, the odd storm around later today. Melbourne, it's a 40% chance, but Melbourne's far more likely to start seeing that rain tomorrow. Showers and storms through western and northern New South Wales. Showers around Sydney again like yesterday, but nothing widespread. But it will be dry in the ACT and through southeast New South Wales. So there's a lot of activity happening just today over the southeast. Tomorrow, though, it is truly on. Heavy rain, widespread flooding. As I said, I'll be back with more details shortly on that. Now for Queensland, heavy showers and storms continuing for the eastern districts with the risk of some flash flooding that could include southeast Queensland, very likely around the central part of the coast. Only isolated storms for far northern and western parts of Queensland today. Temperatures now, it's warm. 23 degrees the current temperature in Melbourne, nearly 24 in Adelaide. So minimum temperatures well above average. That's due to a northerly airstream plus some cloud cover. That northerly will send maximums today to similar levels as yesterday in Victoria and South Australia, 35 plus the red shading, but for Tasmania, your bright orange there, 30 degrees plus, Hobart 33 is your forecast, 14 above average, and that would be the hottest day for any month in nearly two years for Hobart. Now we do have a southerly change, which will hit the South Australian coastline later on Thursday, and that'll drop temperatures in South Australia by tomorrow. One more thing before I leave now, normally a northerly airstream would lead to elevated fire dangers and fire weather warnings, but there is so much humidity in the air right now, fires have little chance of burning out of control. And if we do see any fires over the next 24 hours, well they won't last because widespread heavy rain is on the way.